Another business news, first-year realtor, 24-year-old Timothy Smith earned honors as a rookie sales associate of the year at Better Homes and Gardens MCR Group, one of the Bahamas' leading real estate firms. Smith said he did it by putting in days that began before sunrise, starting with emails and researching the market, which lasted long into the night. And then we got Tim Smith. Tim, welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you. I'm looking forward to a great dialogue. But, but Jans, welcome to the show, man. And, and, and and you guys into you guys into real estate, you guys into real estate, you you into real estate development as well. I, I know you come from a real estate development background. Yes, I do come from a real estate development background, but I'm not into development as yet. Mostly just sales right now. Ah, uh, all right. So my name is Mario Carey. I've been in the real estate business for over 35 years. I'm currently the first franchise, international franchise for Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. I'm the founding CEO. Tim Smith came into my office sometime in September um, to interview, and he had two very strong referrals. First impressions um, when you meet somebody are always the things that stick. Um, when I was talking to Tim and, and sort of giving him, my interviews are sort of laid back. Um, and I know the family that Tim comes from, I have a lot of respect for his father, Phil, who was also in the business a very long time. So the first impression was somebody who is focused, somebody who is highly educated, somebody who is passionate about real estate, as in any job, if you have a passion for it, you'll be successful. And, um, and then again, based on the referrals, um, you know, you combine that with the, with the first impression of being wanted to really be successful, I decided to bring Tim on board with my team. Well, Tim's been with me now, so we're going into our second year. Um, the experience is that he's receptive to new ideas. He actually brings new ideas to the table. Um, you know, the, the industry of real estate has changed with the social media and it's just changing constantly. Um, Tim allows a, a good balance of the social media technology with my sort of old school wisdom of doing real estate. So we make a very good team and um, that's really the key to his success. He was Rookie of the Year uh, last year not an easy feat and, um, and he did well and, uh, and that is again by being passionate about the business. Uh, Tim as a person I think he's well respected by his peers um, being a young Bahamian in a very very aggressive competitive field um, when people see me and they acknowledge that Tim works with me they you know they all got good things to say about him that's that's really what matters and then you know if they're referring him to people uh, other clients you know that means that the impression that they get is of somebody who is sincere honest and ethical and determined to service the client yeah i just think tim has a very bright future in the real estate industry and i look forward to him being a part of our team for a very long time years old, returned to the Bahamas, went to school at Georgia State University, um, studied accounting, and now pursuing my passion and doing business and entrepreneurship. Uh, real estate is an industry that was involved in my life from a very young age. My dad was very involved in real estate and development in the Bahamas, so naturally it's something that I was around and I have taken an interest in. Um, a lot of people know that me coming home as an accounting major, real estate wasn't the first choice for me, but naturally the way that my life panned out and I, I took a shot at it, I think that 
real estate was something that I discovered I had a great passion and, and I'm very good at. I'm very happy about receiving the award as a top rookie producer of the year this year. I think that I put a lot of work in that a lot of people don't see behind the scenes that I put into studying the market, perfecting my craft, meeting people, making connections, growing my network here in the Bahamas. And I think that I put a lot of hours into doing that and really the work paid off and I, I feel confident that this year will be an even better year for me in terms of real estate and I'm excited and eager to see where this takes me real estate in, in my career. Um, so I came home I originally was an accounting major both of my parents are CPAs um, and I was really good at accounting. I, I did it all through college and I came home and I worked at a big four accounting firm. So after two years, I, I decided that I had to really take my career in a new direction. A lot of people didn't really understand or recognize how unhappy I was at that point doing what I was doing in my career. Not to say that, you know, the firm was a wasn't good. The firm was excellent. I learned a lot. Um, the people I worked with were great. But the work that I was doing, I didn't feel that it was fulfilling for me. And it's very easy for people to tell you what you should do in your life and what path you should go down in your career. But ultimately, at the end of the day, they don't have to walk in your shoes and live out your life with the decisions that you make. Um, so I think the people advising me, it's, it's easier to say to do this in your career rather than to be in my shoes and to be living day to day doing something that you know, you're unhappy with. Uh, just going through my journey so far and what I've experienced since, you know, leaving a normal nine to five job and pursuing something um, different in entrepreneurship. You know, the advice that I would give people is that if you're waking up every day and you're not excited to go out and do the work that you're doing, feel passionate about what you're doing, then you're wasting time. You know, time isn't slowing down for anyone. For you to be you know, going years and years doing something that you're not in love with doing in terms of your career, then I think that you're doing a disservice to yourself. My advice would be, I know it's hard and it's a lot of people who would try to discourage you from doing it, but if a change needs to be made, then make the change. At the end of the day, your happiness is, is what's most important to you, or should be most important to you. Um, the only way to be successful in your career or, or do something in to obtain true success and everyone has a different definition of what success is but to me if you're gonna be successful at something if you don't love it or you're not passionate about it and you're not waking up every day eager to put more work into the goal that you're trying to achieve then you're gonna fail not obtain the success that you want to obtain. I think it's, you know, giving up fear. A lot of people live in fear. And it's just getting over that fear that that's the biggest obstacle in, in terms of making that change in your life to really put it on path for a direction you want to be in and a 
achieving the goals of where you see yourself in 10, 15, 20 years? 